Hey, what's going on friends? It is Slash6870 here back at it again with another PC build guide for you today. What I have here is a $900 PC. We have some very good parts in here. We have some upgraded RAM uh, when compared to our last builds and overall it's a very good build for the money right here and if you're into the uh, upper tier gaming top settings 1080p and maybe even dabbling into some 1440p this is the perfect build for you. Starting off with the CPU I have an Intel Core i7 4790K. It is not one of the new Skylake CPU series, which I have been using a lot lately in my builds. This is a little bit older, it's a socket 1150, but it's one of the K versions, it's very overclockable, it's unlocked voltage and all that stuff, and you can push this thing very far overclocking with the proper cooling. It has four cores and eight threads, and it's a very good deal at only $330 for a very overclockable, very high tier CPU. Next up for the motherboard, I have an AS Rock H97 Anniversary Socket 1150 motherboard. Now, these motherboards are just getting cheaper and cheaper now that they aren't the most current chipset. This thing supports 32 gigabytes of DDR3, and for only $60 on Newegg, it's a very good deal for a very capable motherboard. It does what a motherboard needs to do, it's gonna hold all our parts, it does not support SLI, but it's still a good deal. Next up for the RAM, I have the crucial 16 gigabyte DDR3 1600 memory, two 8 gigabyte sticks kit. This does not have any fancy heat shields or heat spreaders on it, but it's only $53 right now on Newegg for 16 gigabytes of DDR3. Now that DDR4 is out, DDR3 is just getting cheaper and cheaper. Not to mention DDR4 is pretty cheap too. Uh, memory has just been decreasing in price continuously, which is very good for a person like me who's, you know, kind of cheap. And I held out on buying more RAM until now, and I definitely appreciate that I held out for it because RAM used to be very expensive, but now it's pretty cheap. So uh, we can afford to go with 16 gigabytes in this scenario. Next up, for the storage, I have the Seagate Barracuda 1TB 3.5 inch 7200 RPM hard drive. I've used this in my past like 5 builds. It's just the cheapest 1TB hard drive you can buy right now. It's made by Seagate, which is a very good brand. 7200 RPM is a very good speed. It's about what you'd expect from a 1TB hard drive like this, and it should serve you a okay. I would recommend getting a 2 or 3TB hard drive if you can afford it, because 1TB does not get you as far as it used to but for the build this fits the budget and it's gonna do just fine next up the most important part of this PC I have the graphics card which is an EVGA GeForce GTX 970 4 gigabyte super clock ACX 2.0 cooler video card so this thing has a rebate right now on NCIX it's only three hundred and ten dollars which is a very good deal for a GPU of this caliber you're gonna be playing all 1080p games on ultra settings pretty much uh, along with this beautiful CPU which is not gonna hold it back whatsoever and you should be able to dabble in 1440p as well next up for the case I went with a Corsair 200 R ATX mid tower case you all already know how much I like this case it's very nice it looks a little bit plain but it's simple and I like that it just has that one side window Nothing too crazy going on here with this case, it's $60 but you get what you pay for, tons of cable management, plenty of slots for fans, and very good cooling on this case, I like it a lot. And for only $60 with Amazon Prime shipping, you can't turn down a deal like this. For the power supply, I have the EVGA 600B 600W 80 Plus Bronze Certified Power Supply. It's only $40 with a $10 mail-in rebate Newegg offer, and 600 watts is going to do you plenty for this build. It's made by EVGA, they make very good power supplies, and it's bronze certified, so it's going to be a little bit efficient. It's not silver or gold or platinum or any of that crazy stuff, but it's going to serve you just fine for a build like this. So that's going to wrap up the video for today guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did be sure to leave a like rating and if you're new be sure to subscribe, uh, we're fast approaching 3000 subscribers, it's a big honor, I appreciate it a lot, and so if you click that button we'd get that much closer which would be great, so I hope you guys enjoyed like I said. Uh, if you have any suggestions or if you have any wishes put them in the comments and I'll do my best to fulfill them. So I'll see you guys later, have a good night, peace.